Here's a test to see if we can show you how to fill a logo for use in the engraving machine. As you can see, if with the pick tool, and you look down here, I have artistic text. What you want to do is you want to go to Arrange, Convert to Curves. Then you want to have just where you can see the outline of it. So we're going to left click on the No Fill button and right click on the outline. Now we're going to go to File, Export, and we're going to export, export PLTHPGL file. And we're going to say Export. Do you want to replace it? Yeah, I've got one already out there. And we go to Advanced, and we want this to be at parallel lines. This is going to have to do with the cutter width you're using. We're not using a line angle. And check this Remove Hidden Lines and Automatic Weld. Now the curve resolution needs to be at .001. Anything greater and your curves start looking like straight lines. So all you have to do is say OK. And I save this to my desktop, so I'm going to go back. It's an HPGL file that can be used direct for the engraver, but we're going to look at it in Corel to see how it looks. So we go in here, we open it up, and don't worry about this too much. We're going to change something in a minute, so we're going to say OK. And we're just going to bring it into Corel right on top of this other one. Now I'll move this one out of the way. You can see it. Go up here and look at the logo. And you can see it's a little thick. So when you select on it, just go over here to the pin dialog and pick hairline right here. And it's going to make it real tiny. And as you can see, it's ready to go.